Toronto Real Estate Update March 2020. What's going on in the Toronto Real Estate Market? This is the update for March 2020 by Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker. Hello everyone. UrbanRealtyToronto.com, that's where we start today. It's my main site where you can see about 2,000 articles so far uploaded over the years. One bedroom condo for sale, a playground condo, 30 ordinance, 30 and 50 ordinance, amazing buildings. You can get assignments now for about $1,000 a foot, which is very, very good. Compared to what I'm gonna show you next, I made a whole video about this one. We run through it, lots of information here. You can get lots of information from years and years of information posted. YossiCaplan.com, in-depth information about investing, videos, the famous condo calculator, um, how to invest, which is better, how to compare assignments for construction, resale. There's videos here, there's text, everything you need to know. Just go check it out. Uh, this is the video channel, youtube.com slash Kaplan. Thank you very much for liking, sharing, commenting, disliking. It's all good. Uh, Twitter.com slash Kaplan. There you go. Everything goes here. Everything from any media that I have goes in a Twitter. So if you follow the Twitter, you more or less get information about everything. Just a quick link. Okay, let's get into it. So condos.ca, the first thing I log in and I see 859 a foot is the average price of the Toronto condo these days. Uh, that has gone very, very quickly up over the last year or two. Uh, this was still at in the high six with, when I started doing uh, videos here. And it within sevens more of last year and it broke through eight just recently. Now it's 859, 860. Now this is, this here is 14 days and number of condo transactions 542 sold so that's fresh that's fresh today's february 18th so that's the, just the first half of february that is dangerous number my friends and 857 here with 484 and the difference here is probably because they have slightly different algorithm calculating the chart bottom here and this number here nonetheless they're close enough to show you that in 2019 we hit 770 maybe 792 uh, uh What's going on here? It's a very, very dangerous territory, my friends, because the, the, the affordability cost is now hitting way past the mark. Everywhere I go, especially my friends are you know, baristas and artists and just have normal jobs. It's very, very difficult. No one can move. Everyone's looking for a room. Um, it's an opportunity, but also it's a, it's a great uh, hurdle we have to pass as a society, not just as investors. Uh, but in this video, we're going to focus on what's for sale. And I picked them for you, so I'm going to show you. Uh, you can go to the Toronto, uh, this is the trebhome.com. Not secure. Oh, my God. All right. They have the market stats. So you can hit it here. And it's called the market watch. Market watch. Okay, it's right here. So you open here. It says realtor release January 2020 stats. I'm going to show you March 2020. But just review this uh, just to understand what we're looking at. So that's the report when you download it. Uh, it goes from left to right. Here's a January 2020. We had <clears throat> 4,500 uh, sales, and last year we had 3,900, so about 600 more, uh, which is about 15% more. Uh, mind you, there's not a lot of winter, so that helps a bit, but there's a lot of activity. Look at the price. A year ago, the price was 747, say 750. Now it's 840. That's $90,000 more one year. Okay, that's a lot. And if you look here, the numbers repeat, and it comes to 12.3%. 12.3%. That's very, very high. The rents obviously have to start matching up. Otherwise, the investors are in negative territory, which they are getting into right now. We covered this in other videos, showing you with the with the condo calculator how to overcome that basically you have two options i'll remind you quickly your first option to overcome it is to put more money down and the second is to put more money to basically complete the fall the shortage every month but people are still doing it people are still buying condos at well over a thousand a foot 1300 if you can find something 1300 they sell out and the 1500 dollar foot are selling out in the king west the 1800 also sold out uh, and that's the historic average and just like you see we beat 2017 or maybe like below by a couple bucks here who knows, uh, maybe they changed the algorithm, but nonetheless, you can see the, the, the velocity, 92,000, 87,000, 88,000, that's more or less the same. So unless something serious is going to change the global economy, and that could with the corona, um, we're looking up. And uh, maybe I should make, yeah, let me know, but maybe I should make a video of how the corona can affect the real estate market, because I think it, it okay. could. Okay, now we're going to go to yossi.searchrealty.co. So... Here's what I do. We're going to go to yossi.searchreel.co. So we're going to start with Yossi. Okay, we're going to yossi.searchreel.co, which is my main search site connected to um, Search Realty. And from here, I'm going to type in Toronto. I'll show you how I do a quick search. 
So Toronto, Ontario, just pick that as a general search. It's going to spew out everything in the system. Uh, the first thing we're going to sort it from high to low just for fun. And the second thing I'm going to do is immediately I'm going to put the bats on one. And the reason I put it on one is to avoid commercial spaces, lockers, whatever. Obviously, not in the high to low, but low to high, you'll see it. And you can see start the houses. It's more, mostly bridal path. This is one family home for 32 million. Here's a deal, 22, 9 million. This one, they're neighbors. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dan Vegan, very nice. That's uh, St. Clair there. Uh, Roxborough, and on and on and on. Now, if you want to filter it down, just hit the condo apartment tag here. And that's going to give you 1300 And then we're going to start uh, restricting on the price. So we'll start with 400000 which makes sense to me because 400 is more or less when things start if you can even find anything. Let's even find anything four to six hundred in Toronto. Yeah, I can find quite a few, 366 of them, and I'm gonna sort them by latest listings. What was most recent to list? And you can see most of them are north of the 401 here. Okay, they're north of the 401 and all the buildings. You may find like down here, maybe something more close to downtown. That's a that's actually Radio City, so that's Church and Carlton. Uh, that's a good building. I'm well familiar with it. And here is a nice, cute little uh, unit, and you can get that's that's kind of a studio-ish. Okay, so that's very nice, very nice, very nice. High floor, got a bit of view. That's actually very cute. And there's a bedroom or a nook for a room. They're not really showing it, but there it is. And this unit is asking half a million dollars. And to me, it's a great investment. I know the building. The building is well managed. You could use maybe some updating. That's original equipment. But hey, it's all good that someone can live there. And uh, that's reasonable. Okay, next we're going to check out um, 55 Stewart. Okay, 55 Stewart, the first Thompson. Here we've got a one-bedroom, one-bath asking six eighty nine nine. That's almost $700,000 very nicely staged uh, nice and wide the kitchen is on the side here but it's wide enough that i'm not against it you know i don't like kitchen on, on the side wall usually i like it on the back wall especially if it's a narrow unit but this one's all right it's got uh, some nice architectural features here built in it's all good okay so you like this unit you want to see give me a call you think if it's too expensive or will it go fast give me a call and i basically do a quick survey to see what's sold in the area and I can tell you okay uh, the condo fees here are 533 a month that's reasonable the tax is about 220 a month 230 a month okay not bad moving on what do I got here for you next this is by the water 33 Harbor so that's the first uh, building by the water built in the uh, 80s I believe and those those were literally built as home replacement. People from Rosedale used to come and live here, so it looks even looks kind of older. It doesn't have proper balcony. It's got Juliet's, uh, but the units are quite spacious. Some of them are two stories, like you see here. There's many, many floor plans. I've been in this unit. We've done a lot of renos here, buying and all the units, renovating here, and uh, and making it into absolutely modern. This one, you know, it has been renovated, probably 90s, looks like it, but it could. Definitely, yeah, definitely use like a, a free refresh here or maybe a full on reno. The view is good, you got some water view. Uh, the rooms are a little, a little crammed, but that's how they used to build then. So it's a good option if you're looking for a larger. It's a one bedroom at 1,047 square feet. It's a split, so the, the bedroom is on the top. So you got a separate living space. Uh, the condo fees, let's see what you got here. That's 909 a month. And the property tax is 3000 for the year. So it's about 1200 a month to carry this unit, plus the cost of the unit, $800,000, where you paid cash or cash plus mortgage. Moving on to 608 Richmond, the Harlow. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous building. You know, units here last year were still selling in the, in the low fives for the small one bedrooms. So it's doing good. Uh, this building is ultra, ultra modern, built by uh, Brad Lamb Development. I really like it. It's it's well done. It's well appointed. It doesn't have uh, much of amenity space, but the location is fantastic. There's the old Queen West right there. That's a render. And that that's what you get for 854.9. Nine foot ceiling, one plus den. Not cheap. Okay, by 850 square feet. Condo fee is 550. Tax are not assessed yet. Next, I got for you. I'll just pick those from, from things that people ask me about looking at. A bit older, 21 Nelson, that's boutique condos. That was all the rage. 
Uh, here's the pictures from 2015, <laughs> or whatever. Uh, but it gives you an idea. You see, it's kind of like Radio City 281 Mutual, the, the finishes, although this one is, uh, was, was uh, completed much after Radio City. But the units are good. They got a nice, uh, that's actually a really nice unit. Kitchen is a very, very back. The Pisani model, 636 square feet. It's got a little balcony. It's all good. Okay. It's looking into, that's probably two, that's 224 King. You're looking into another Bradland Developments building, 224 King, the, the theater, King Theater. Okay, very good. That's the, that's the rooftop. They got a gorgeous rooftop there with like a, like a rise, a walk-up uh, jacuzzi tub. These places are gorgeous. Some of the common areas for boutique condos. That's the lobby. Could do a better picture, better better job with the pictures. Um, and they're asking 688 for this 635, 636 square feet with a little balcony, nine foot ceiling. Condo fees are 569. All about 550, uh, 200 for the tax. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay. I just want to see if there's any parking here. Visitor parking, one parking, one locker. Okay, so not a bad deal, my friends. Not a bad deal. Great location right across from Shangri-La. 688, 1 plus 10, 636 parking and locker. Moving on. Oh, this, this is nice. Okay, this is a little unique property. This is 676 Richmond. Now, that's Richmond west of Bathurst. Okay, so that's that's an older that's an older uh, loft conversion. Very, very nice. Unique property. They come once in a while. Obviously, this one was remade. Very, very nice. Look at this uh, walk-up uh, half bedroom up there. Sexy, romantic, whatever you like. It's love season, right? February. So here you go. Very nice. I would check in here. It's got a bit of that glass blocks here. Probably for privacy because it's on the first floor. There's a view from the stairs. That's really cute. That's really, really cute. That reminds me of old lofts I used to live in. So that's really cute. That is the building. It's it's kind of hard to notice because it's it's that part of Richmond is really narrow. Very very nice. Uh, this one's actually 715, 14 foot ceiling. That's a main floor unit. Uh, 650 for the condo fees. 25.45 for the taxes. It's got a parking too. Okay, that's a unique property. Next, I got for you is uh, 80 John, which is Festival Tower. It's a very unique building. It's got a lot of history. Units here usually uh, score really well. It's got a large balcony, 178. And it's a one bedroom, and that's also looking at, at more or less at $1,000 a foot. Okay. Uh, condo fee 646. Slightly higher condo fees and taxes for this one. Let's see what you got. That's the lobby. It's been renovated recently since it was open well-maintained property that is also that is the um, one of the party rooms there's a whole bunch of them then the amenities are amazing in this building and that is the unit very nice nice and wide got a corner solid solid building that's the older lobby that's there's an indoor there's an indoor pool and the gym is above and that's the balcony here where they do the events. That's really cool. Uh, this unit here, asking 775. Got all the amenities. 646 again for condofi. Okay, that's good. Next, next I got for you. We go into King West 775. That's the Minto King West, a King at Tecumseh, just a few steps west of King and Bathurst. Okay, so. King Espadina, King and Bathurst. Then you hit this building. It's got a nice courtyard. Very nice. Uh, this is Minto built. That's literally right on King Street. The, it's got a King address, 775, and it's got 7578 Tecumseh, which is the side street. And here is the unit. Uh, it's looking, this one is looking right into, um, so this would be east because you see the CN Tower. And uh, that's actually a really nice view. That's the summit right here. And they got a nice pool in there. Okay, that's the lobby. Absolutely gorgeous. This, these are real pictures. That's, they got like a little inside corner unit, uh, inside courtyard, with a bit of a water feature. That's where the shoppers is. If, if you recognize the shoppers, we the front here. Shoppers King West, bit of a party room theater situation. 
Okay, so that's what you got here. That's Minto King West, 849.9, so eight, 835, uh, about 1,000 bucks a foot. About 1,000 bucks a foot. And the condo fee should be very low, 386, and taxes are a little higher because it's a larger unit. Okay, nice. A couple more, and I'm done for today. Uh, this one here is a 1080 Bay, U condo. Very sought after building, especially with the UFT crowd. A lot of people that come. UFT has a lot of foreign students, a lot of foreign students from China. Interesting to see what's the coronavirus and UFT going to do. Um, but there's a lot of people, a lot of foreign students living in these buildings. This is the Loreto plan. It's a perfect one plus then you, e, obviously you can, you can room that and make it into a two bedroom. I think that's the appeal of this unit here. And that's really cool. Not, not many, uh, not at all unit pictures. Lazy agents, I call them. Uh, asking eight ninety nine, so asking nine hundred thousand dollars for this unit on the twenty fourth floor. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Nine hundred thousand dollars asking for six hundred thirty six. So that's almost fifteen hundred a foot, six fifty. Okay. We are now moving to four twenty six University. That's the RCMP, RMCP, RCMI, RCMI condos. Uh, this building does not have any parking spots, by the way. That's the bottom floor. It's really cool. They, they pluck this giant building on top. Here's the floor plan. 679 square feet, 1 plus 10. It's a decent plan. You can see what they've done. They shove two small rooms in order to allow for this living space. It's decent. It's livable. It's workable. Not a lot of privacy, obviously, here, but maybe a family situation with a small child or two really good friends. <laughs> There you go. That's nice. Subway's right there, very, very important. Take care. All right. And that's also well over $1,000 a foot. Now, if you want to find these buildings, like what they actually fetch, go to condos.ca, put 1080 Bay, the one I just showed you earlier. 1080 Bay, view condos. There it is, seven for sale, 19 for rent. Average dollar, they're actually getting 13.58 a foot. Mind you, smaller units will get higher. So they're actually getting 13.58. So that's the unit I just showed you. There are others, of course, but that's the unit I showed you. It's also the cheapest one available right now. But you can see here, 76 days of market, 81 days of market. So these are, these are expensive units. Uh, 1,200,000 on the fourth floor. That's a tough sale. That's a very tough sale. Um, this unit, eight hundred some th thousand dollars for eleven fifty price change. Well, you know why? It's a tough sale. It's still in the market, that's too high. Okay, uh, two million forty four floor still in the market. Well, we'll see. That that's not a lot of time for this type of unit, and the townhouses, of course, are the highest priced. But per foot, it's about a thousand, so maybe not that bad. But as the unit gets larger, the dollar per foot is expected to be lower. Okay. Uh, showed you this one, showed you this one, showed you this one. 355 King, it's about to occupy very, very soon, maybe starting. That's the King Blue. There's going to be tons and tons of units here. This Asian here did not bother to put a floor plan or anything about the unit, but just to get an idea. 636 square feet. Some of these floor plans are very problematic at 355, but some of them are decent. So you gotta be, you gotta watch out. Eighth floor doesn't really give me any info. But there are many other units at this building with floor plans like this one. So just go to yossi.searchwilsi.co, put 355, put Toronto 355. You'll see. That's a, that's an interesting. Uh, I've seen this before. The problem is, of course, that the three pillars are right in the center of the room. So 800 square feet. It's pretty small. The kitchen is stuck here because they didn't really have any other room. No, the architect did their best. It's not that bad, actually. But it will feel a little crammed and narrow. Uh, this building took forever to complete, but $800,000, $820,000. It's an assignment. It could work. It could work, but I think I'll have to walk into this unit uh, to see it. Obviously, whatever is, um, whatever is on the, whatever sells is not longer here. And what you see, there's another one of these units. It's probably the same unit. No, it's not the same unit. This is kitchen in the back. This is a better design, although it's got the three pillars still. 
it's a bit of a better design 878 on the 19th floor that's similar there's there's good opportunity in assignments because what you could do with assignments is you can negotiate more than you could negotiate with developer this these are links to units under 600,000 I sent it to my list if you didn't get it uh, you're not on the list but I just sent anything under 600,000 I just it was on over the long weekend I was just like here here's something really cool Anything in the system under 600,000, that's the link. If you want the link, just comment below. I'll paste it. Okay. When you look at these links, you know, you can play around here. And you can play with, you want to see just a one-bedroom, two-bedroom. Let's see if I can get anything between three and 600 on a two-bedroom. Yes, I can. Okay, now can you get it uh, right downtown? Let's see if I actually get anything downtown. Yeah, you get a few. So that's not bad. And then you can start looking here to see. And it's going to bring you to Liberty Village. It's going to bring you to wherever there's more value. Okay, these are also some homes because I haven't filtered for them. But you can see what's available. Kingston Road. So it's it's really all over the place. But it's hard to get a two-bedroom downtown in the 600s. But if you, if you zoom out, you know, it's okay. You'll find your stuff, even for two-bedroom. Okay, my friend, that's it. Today we reviewed some of the stuff on the market. We reviewed what's going on for um, March 2020. I think there'll be a, a lot of action here. You can see the market's going up. It'll be interesting to see if the market is going to keep that crazy trajectory or comes down a bit. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with Corona because if Corona stops everything on the world, you can expect it to trickle down to Toronto as well. So interesting times. Nonetheless, there's still a lot of deals to be made if you're selling obviously a very good time to sell if you're buying you got to be cautious you got to be careful you got to really make a really good decision make sure the best people on your side like me yossi kaplan that's it for today thank you very much take care